right, this is it. Your first solo episode. Don't muck this up. Okay, dude. We're recording. Do the line. Welcome to Dave's Paha. I don't know how you do this. How does it go again? Pop. 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 Pa. Boop. Pa 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 pa. Pop. Pop. Pa. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Um, we are live. What do you mean we are live? Oh, for f- Hello, everyone. Today's adventure brings us to London, London Olympia to be specific, for 2020's London Spring Comic Con. So join me and my buddy Nick as we invite you to join us and let's go and see what we can find. Always worth um, a bit of shopping straight away. These are probably better places to browse than the shop with the premium that is put on uh, buying anything from Comic Con. As you can see there, £50 for a glorified anime Funko Pop, basically. So we've got some Naruto figures, uh, Dragon Ball I think I saw there, um, and some Gundams. Um, looking around, some really, really cool figures. Lots of horror figures and some horror props. There's Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Freddy Krueger's glove, Jason's mask. Um, Ninety pounds if you want uh, Freddy's glove. Um, these are really cool posters. Um, really well done. I mean, I'm not filming these purely so I can steal the ideas. Obviously, um, I'm filming them because they're really cool and really, really good art. Uh, there is a sports almanac from Back to the Future. Some more, some more of the posters, some key rings, um, and some very overpriced face masks to um, play on everybody's fears of coronavirus. So, um, also might explain why Comic Con was so quiet actually on on Saturday. These are these are really cool. I, I absolutely love poster art. These are the original posters but from the foreign releases so you can see them in French and German and Italian um, I think I'm looking at a uh, poster for Anacondas 3 I think it's Hunt for the Blood Orchids which Dave would never let me talk about on uh, on his podcast so um, Brian from Turbo Terror if you're listening I'll bring it over to you um, You know, hit me up we'll, uh, we'll sort it out There is Mark de Cascos. Um, didn't notice him walk past me at the time, but um, you might recognise him from John Wick and Mortal Kombat Legacy. Oh, Charles Dance, Alien 3, um, Game of Thrones, um, Freddy Krueger himself, Robert England. Notoriously not the nicest guy in the world. Um, both me and Dave have met him before, and he wasn't particularly pleasant to either of us. Uh, there's Jason, um, just hanging out, having a break. Bella Ramsey from Game of Thrones. Probably know her as Liana Mormont. Uh, there's her mum behind her as well. In case you wondered what she looks like. Uh, Mark Cascos again. Um, looked like a real nice guy. He was really interactive. Um, stood up, shook hands, talked to everybody. Not like uh, certain other certain other people who we will see in a minute. Talking to which um, a, a very hungover-looking Christopher Lambert. Not sure what he'd been doing, but it, ah, this guy meeting him, he was hilarious. I watched him for about 20 minutes. He uh, spent like 40 odd minutes queuing up to meet him, didn't get anything ready, and obviously when this girl called him forward, it was just absolute panic. He was all over the place. Really, really funny to watch. 
shouting at his friends, shouting at his wife. You know, I don't understand how you can't get prepared. Um, here we go walking through. You're going to have to excuse the shaky cam. Um, I do this for free, so I'm not spending the time stabilizing footage. Um, pay me and I'll do it, but uh, that ain't happening. Um, so we're just wandering through. There's some of the comic book sections there. Um, having a look at some of the some of the costumes around. Uh, Ian McKelleny from Game of Thrones. A lot of Game of Thrones um, people there. I think mostly British uh, British people at this one, purely because I think of the probably the uh, coronavirus. People not really wanting to be in the crowd. So this is the meet and greet photo section. Um, again, really not that busy, um, but. Uh, there's some costumes. There's uh, Ginger Kylo Ren and uh, Hot Ray. What you see. She was lovely. On TV in that is Ian McCulloch from Zombie Flesh Eaters, uh, a cult '70s film um, I've seen a few times. Yeah. Stood and listened to that for a bit. That was quite interesting. Um, there's Robbie Morgan who was uh, Friday the 13th, yeah, she played Annie. Well, steroids keep you young, I suppose. Um, Ned Dennehy from um, Peaky Blinders and Githin Anthony, I believe, is Game of Thrones. Ned Dennehy, I know that name. Ned, um, Ned there was a lot, uh, we walked around four or five oh, times, there was an awful lot of um, empty tables. Uh, I'm not sure, I think we had a lot of cancellations. Uh, oh, the Emperor himself. He's taking a break. Um, you could have your picture taken with him next to him in uh, one of the Emperor's Thrones. Um, oh, these were really cool. This is um, a guy selling themed alcohol. So he had some Dracula red wine. Um, and these were really cool. Dracula, which uh, I thought would have been really cool, but um, I'm not a drinker. I don't drink. So wasted on me. But uh, they look really cool. Again, excuse the jumpy camera. I've got a new phone. So. Oh, these were um, some really cool Lego sets. Um, although once you kind of got up close, you realise that almost all of the the actual sets uh, themselves were built from from actual Lego sets, not not individual blocks. So it loses its appeal slightly, but um, you know, somebody's put it together. So impressive from that point of view. Just take the time to do that. Um, just walking around, having a look at a few of the stalls. Some really cool T-shirts. Um, again, wildly overpriced. So if you're looking for a bargain, Comic Con is uh, is not the uh, the place you want to be. You want to be going for that. Um, still really cool to look at. Window shopping is is brilliant at these, but physically buying stuff, unless there's something you really really want, I wouldn't advise it. Oh, hello, here comes uh, Nicholas. There's a, a rare sight, him opening his wallet. He is going to have a crack at the Tombola. So three tickets for a pound. He looks confident. So uh, hold on to your hats, folks. He's going in. One, two, he's got three tickets. Here he goes. He's done it. He's done it first time. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. What's he won? Oh, a Zelda book. Oh, he'll be pleased with that. You can't see his face, but he was uh, he was very uh, very happy. Look at him, hands are shaking. He uh, he's, he's on a roll now. Let's see, he's got two more tickets left. What's he going to do? No, it's got to end in a zero or five. Uh, one more, one more shot. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, Nicholas. Never mind, never mind. He's won once. Um, He's pleased with himself, look at that. Uh, thumbs up from Nick. Happy days. There's some vintage vintage Star Wars. Um, some uh, Funko Pops. Didn't even notice this guy when I walked past him. That looks good as well, yeah. These guys, I think, oh, they're from Rainbow Six. Uh, computer game, I, think. Uh, I think there's me telling Nick we need to have some organization and then immediately gets distracted by a uh, furry gizmo. Um, Oh, these figures are really cool. That's uh, 
slides and thundercats um, had that figure and I also had the guy from Brave Star yeah Brave Star um, and also the He-Man figures uh, lots of DVDs um, look at that Peter Cushing Christopher Lee and Vincent Price all in one film uh, Dave if you haven't got that I suggest you uh, pick that one up that's uh, not for £20 though that's way too much um, Again, digging around the trays are always one of the, the, the fun bits of Comic Con. Uh, oh, Susan George. Uh, I knew her. She was lovely. Um, unfortunately, no longer with us. She was a client of mine when I worked in a store. She used to ring me up. I was a personal bloody shopper for her. I didn't know who she was. She was a repeat cushion. Oh, these masks were. Um, they look really cool. I mean, I'm uh, quite a big collector of masks and helmets. And, um, they look really good, but I assume they are probably very, very plasticky. Oh, uh, she uh, she seemed nice. Um, good cosplay. She, uh, hmm. Very nice. Okay. And there's some. Oh, I love these things. We're sort of the light up LED acrylic things. Um, um, some classical figures there. Some Doctor Who Tardises. Um, Oh, I think that's some of the original. Let me point out a picture of Jonathan Frakes, but uh, didn't notice the. That looks like the original Ewok glider behind there. Autographs. A lot of autographs at these places. If you want to get autographs, this is the place to go. Um, lots and lots of different prices. They, there seems to be no consistency on prices of autographs, but. Um, probably. Probably a great place to go and try and get autographs. Um, anybody you want. They're bound to have. They had thousands of them. Uh, even had a Michael Jackson for, I think it was like 800 pounds. Again, some really, really cool figures. Um, what have we got? Halloween 2, They Live, Hellraiser. Um, no Halloween 3 figures. If they had, I would have bought one. But, um, these are really good. If I had the money, um, I would be buying all these. But I don't. So maybe one day. More DVDs. Um, oh, Thunderbirds ago. Um, there he goes. Uh, little kid dressed as a mask. Uh, oh, Negan. Didn't notice him. Um, oh, these are the the, the the apparently the original posters. Um, some of them, some of them were two, three thousand pounds. Oh, this guy. The, the, you might have seen him in the, the montage at the start. He was a... I thought it was a robot. As it turns out, it was a guy in a, guy in a costume pretending to be a robot. So thank God I didn't go and stand next to him to get some pictures because that might have been the end of your old pal Neil, I think. Because he's gone. Oh, ter uh, these terrariums are really cool. Not sure what I'd do with it, but uh, why to get third free? Bargain. Apart from the, the two are probably... Ludicrously overpriced. Oh, these are really cool. These uh, sort of paper headline prints. Some cool poster art. Um, oh, the screen used uh, Aston Martin from the new James Bond film. Um, you can see in the back the, the rig where they were used for the filming. Um, and um, it looks quite good, the new film, actually. But, um, this was the screen used car from the film, so that was nice to see that when we were there. Um, they had a James Bond experience. And that's the end of today's adventure. Join us next time on Dave's Pop. Dave's Pop. Oh, you know what? Do it yourself, Dave.